When you're ready to do the opener. Hi guys, welcome to this month's Comics Etc. Direct Overview where we show you our carts and compare the size of the carts. Yeah. Do you have a big cart or a small cart? None of your goddamn business. <laughs> uh, what is Comics Etc. Direct? You do this every time. They know. If you don't know, watch one of our earlier videos because they're fun to watch. Or I'll and... just explain it. It's a pre-order no. website. Hey, I'm going to let you know something. This is just a really big ad for Comics Etc. Direct, so you got to kind of tell them. Oh, go on, hurry up. Alright, comicsetcedirect.com.au. Go there, pre-order your comics. Save 25-40% to 40 every single month. You're guaranteed to get the exact items that you order. We don't touch well, it. Well, no, in case the company changes, which yeah. happens, but it's rare. Yeah, it's rare. Our hit rate is like 99.9%. .9%. Like, we might get like two things wrong a month, and considering the amount of orders we get, that's a pretty good system. So, it's fantastic. You love it, we love it, everybody's happy. And if you miss out, you can always order from our yeah. other site, the yeah. classic comics etc. It's so site. funny when people do miss... Some of you do miss the pre-order window even yeah. though we hammer it into your heads. And it stings because they're paying, obviously they don't like paying the yeah. full price. Yeah. I had one yesterday, a guy bought an omnibus. He goes, oh, 180? Oh, I'm used to it being 130. Yeah. It's like a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. You um, go first. I'll go first. So, okay, I'm going to let you in on a little thing. I already know that you lie and you pat out your cart. 100% I haven't. The only thing I'll tell you is a little bit of a spoiler. Nostalgia rules very strongly for me this month. So that's my only spoiler that I have. So before I actually start, there's something that I have to tell everyone. Oh my god, you so, just talked about it. Why not just no, start? That's new, because I have to actually start show them. the cart. Start the <laughs> cart. Now when you look on Comics Social Direct and you see these awful <coughs> pages of just you right, buddy? Yeah, I was laughing. Of no images and all this. It looks awful. It's not it? by choice. It's not us. They just don't supply the cover images, which drives us nuts because we're never going to really sell the stuff. And I can tell you by sales wise, we don't sell these blank images. But when you look at like, let's go to DC quickly. Like, look how much better that looks. <laughs> there's still nearly yeah, there's as many one or gaps, two, but, but not like a whole page of blank covers like Marvel do. All right, they get it. Start the cart. Start okay. the cart. Start the cart. So let's start the cart. <laughs> All right, the first one that I chose this month was Power Fantasy. Do uh, you have it in your cart too? I think I do, but I'm gonna go out and say I didn't like the first issue. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So if anyone doesn't know, this is from Kieran Gillen, um, that it was Wicked and the Divine and Die, yep. and yeah, very good stories. Yep. I only chose it because Gillen has stuff that uh, sells well and doesn't sell well. This is definitely one of his best-selling single-issue ones. So, I don't know, I just wanted to try it. I have no idea what it's about. Yeah, I kind of, I think from vague, quick memory, I think it's uh, about superheroes and... Click it in, just because I do want to remember. I, I just in. remember that, yeah, I feel like this might read better as a collection, so... Yeah, what are, you, what are you getting from the synopsis? I don't know. There's it's a lot very of, long. Is it even of, the right... No, your name's in it, did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah James. Oh, um, James. Tenney. It's just a lot of praise for it. Okay. Like, that is all praise, <laughs> so... Yeah. So, I, yeah, look, I, like I said, I don't think the first issue got me, but yeah. it's probably one of those that read better as a volume. So, a lot of praise. If you like mayonnaise, you'll love it. So, you know how I said nostalgia is uh, big in my Yeah, cart. but see, this is in mine as well, so. Yeah, I don't know why, though. Like, I've read it. It's my favourite well, top five of all time. So, he's killed. talking about Kill or Be Killed, and that's yeah. because it's been out of print for a while, even the single volumes are hard to get, aren't they? Alright, so I'm a bit annoyed. Volume 2 to 5 have been out of print now for like 5 years. They came back in print last month. And you and didn't know they were doing this. Yeah, so we got a crap load of it. The gist of it is, guy tries to commit suicide, sick of his life. As he's falling to his doom, he sees a demon that says... Makes a deal with him. Yeah, if, if you don't kill someone once a year, I'm going to kill you. He doesn't know if he's insane or not, so... Do you kill someone, otherwise I'll die? It's a big dilemma. Really good. Um, Department of Truth, because it's one of my other top five series of all time. Basically, conspiracy theories come true. But they're hiding them. If they're not contained. So yeah. the Department of Truth try to control truth. Volume 5 it was on a big hiatus before this, so really good. Uh, Art of Invincible. Boy, nuts. Yeah, Nathan Shoutout, whose favourite comic of all time is Invincible. I just finished Series 2 last night and I thought I wouldn't like it as much as Series 1, but I liked it more than Series 1. So I'm really interested in the art of because I thought the art direction was a little bit more refined 
Do they take stuff from the comic, like, you know, the art, is it exactly the same? Or That's what I'm curious. Yeah. Because I think the art style is more refined in series two. Did they go more off Otley's art, who was the artist for most of these stories? Yeah. Uh, Zatanna, Bring Down the House. Selling very well in single issues. Yeah, I'm not a, I don't really care about Zatanna, and I actually don't really care about the writer, no offence to whoever you are, but I love Javier's... The art. The artwork. Because it's very colourful. Yeah. So I just want to read it for the artwork. I think it looks really nice. Um, once again, nostalgia. Uh, Green Arrow Archer's Quest Omnibus. So what run is this? The Kevin Smith? This is, yeah, so the Kevin Smith run, he rebooted Green Arrow back in the, I want to say 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. This collects the start of his run, then he left and Brad Meltzer, acclaimed novelist, went on, and then Judd Winnick went on. So and a lot of changing. All three runs are brilliant. And the artist all the way through, I'm pretty sure, was just uh, Phil Hester, I'm pretty sure. but. Excellent green arrow, just about everywhere. I loved it that much. <laughs> really, really good run. Uh, highly recommend it. Ah, new compact. Okay, there's a new compact, and I've got to have a bit of a. Okay, I've changed my tune a little bit on the on the compact editions. <laughs> it's because you're making money. Off no, them. instead of being you should buy them, you are an absolute grade A idiot if you are not buying these. Because I had to think about it, right? Like that's twelve issues for thirteen dollars. Like even if you've got $18. no. dollars. Oh, off no, off direct. Off so that's but, yeah, you're even pillaging like, more. Like, even if you've got no interest in these characters, come on, that's like a dollar an issue for these classic well, stories. Well, to be fair, most of them they aren't just printing them; they're actually good stories. They're not just going to yeah. print any random garbage. So, like, if you are passing on a single one of these, I think you're a fool. And again, I'm sorry. With Christmas coming up, yeah. Um, nostalgia. Young Avengers. This is. Amazing. Have you read this run of Young Avengers? I don't have interest in Young Avengers, sorry. Oh, it is so good. Okay. Oh, it is so good. It is one of the rare self-contained stories that Marvel have done through the years. It is 12 issues, one and done. It, re it introduces the Young Avengers to the Marvel Universe. It also reintroduces a whole bunch of characters uh, written by... Alan Heinberg, who, by the way, is one of the executive producers and main writers of Grey's Anatomy for the last 20 years. It's my guilty pleasure show. I can't believe I still watch it because it's terrible now. But, uh, yeah, he cool. wrote Grey's Anatomy That's and he only awesome did this, this comic. Sick. Um, told ya. X-Men Age of Apocalypse Volume yeah, 1. Yeah, but I'm glad because it's different to mine, so... Yeah. yeah, we're not going to just, well, some things, but we're not gonna, just going to be repeating each other's no, parts. So. It's a reprint of Age of Apocalypse Volume 1, the greatest X-Men story of all time. I'll fight you on that one. Come at me, bros. It is such a good story. Um, and I, yeah, it's, it's just... It's been out of print for a it's while. It's been out of print. So basically, Professor Xavier's son, Legion, goes back in time to kill Magneto. Accidentally kills Xavier instead. So Xavier never existed. So it's a world with no Xavier. Apocalypse wins. It's a hellscape and chaos ensues. Uh, Ultimate Wolverine issue one, just because I realized as I was doing my cart, I literally don't have a brand new comic in there at all. It is all nostalgia. So I can't just spend the whole if month If you say that reading. word again, I'm gonna smash your iPad. All right, so fine, let's just, Nosferatu. Yeah. So yeah, I got this one as well, just because I am interested, like you said, to see what characters they put in it. Yeah. Because Ultimate X-Men has, yeah, it's just literally, yep the one character, yeah. so. Punisher. Oh, so what's with this one? Is it a new print? Well, it's just the a new difference? printing of Punisher, welcome back, Frank. I'm not a Punisher fan. Yeah, he's okay. I mean, I to be honest, I've only read the stuff that he's in Daredevil. Like, I yep. haven't read his own standalone. There's a lot of Punisher fans. There's a lot of Punisher fans. I'm not a Punisher fan, but I'm a Garth Ennis fan. Yeah. And this run that he does is reintroduces Punisher after a disastrous Marvel Knights relaunch. So is it a hardcover or just no, a regular? No, I think this is just regular. Okay. Um, so did you know what the Marvel Lawns Knights relaunch was. No, all I know is it looks terrible. So they turned him into a demon hunter. So they killed him and then he comes back and he's got angel So wings it's not it. actual knights like like medieval knights. No, Marvel Knights was Marvel's version of trying to do like a vertigo type thing. It's yeah. a bit weird. Edgy. Edgy, yeah. And it was such a disaster that they rebooted it very quickly with Garth Ennis taking over and doing a really good job. Same creative team as Preacher. Really good story. Um, Taking a mental note, you haven't read it. Dynamic duo of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale doing yeah, rest Daredevil. In peace. One of the greatest creative teams of all time. Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, Daredevil. 
Brilliant book, uh, another year one book. They did a whole bunch of color ones. The reason why I had this in my cart is that for the last like five years, Marvel have been reprinting these in these absolutely I was about to say, is that that big covers. artist sort of edition thing? Finally, they're in regular size okay. and a regular price. That's so only $25.50. You'll love it if you haven't read it. Oh, you got the Fantastic Four building a house one. Yeah, Grand Designs. Um, big Grand Designs fan here, by the way. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it's still on, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how long. Like, they take ages now for a season to come out. Yeah, favourite version? There's no version. Like, what are you it's talking about? There's the New Zealand, there's the Australian. Oh, the, there's the... the original UK one. Oh, really? Don't, don't even try to compete with that one. Oh, okay. Thought you'd be a little bit more patriotic, but whatever. So that one... Is there a French version? I don't know. I oh. don't care. They probably vous. just build in snails or something. <laughs> uh, Grand Designs. <laughs> I'm a he So if you've never read a Grand Designs book, have you ever read one? I look at them and think they're cool, but I don't really know. So what is the concept? I love them. So basically, they are guys who really, really, really love this particular franchise. We'll go through, research, do a comic that tells the history of a character. Oh, so a they're not building point. a house. No, no, there's no oh. house. But they're building a history. Yeah. And I've read all of them. They're all fantastic. I've read this one as well. Like, it is so well researched. They will go, things, go through and tell you the history of the comic in, like, comic format so the Fantastic Four and you'll see stuff in it go I don't remember that happening but at the very end they always have the appendix and they'll tell you this is where they got that information from our oh, brilliant really artistic excellent books Tom's fun fact we Scully. both don't have appendixes yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this run here the Fantastic Four go back to one of our first videos that we did I did a review of the Fantastic Holy, Four by so, Mark Sorry, Lee. but you are Marvel heavy as anything I told this. you, this is very nostalgic. I told you not to say that word again. <laughs> All right, keep going. Hurry up. You're okay. taking too sorry. much time. Okay, Fantastic Four by Wade. Uh, um, I did the Omnibus review a little while ago. I told you how much I loved it. Soft cover version's out now. If you didn't want to buy the hardcover, buy this. The Daredevil Born Again Marvel Premiere Collection is their so version. So this is their compact version. This is their version of compact comics. So how much? Nineteen seventy-five. A little bit more expensive. <laughs> and you know what? A little bit more expensive, and I think it's going to be a little bit thinner because Born Again isn't a. It's thick not a trade. big story. That's like yeah. So we'll see how these go. We'll definitely do an unboxing video when these finally come in. And my last one that I have, Astonishing X-Men Modern Era. They're just epics, but they give it a modern era because it's yep. the newer stories. Second half of the Joss Whedon run, another brilliant comic, another comic I've read. Is Buffy in it? <laughs> no. Oh. So, um, really good. John Cassidy artwork, Joss Whedon did this. Brilliant. So, my cart only came to $672. Oh, wow. Um, probably about a thousand bucks, I would say. Retail. If you didn't pre-order on direct. Yep. <laughs> um, and I've read all of it already and there's only one comic in there that I haven't... Oh, two. Two comics in there I haven't already read. Yep, we got it. You've said it a so, lot. Let's move on. Let's how really good get... is reliving the past? Yeah, you do that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to my cart. Alright. Let's see yours. <clears throat> so, first one I put in is the Vagabond Definitive Edition hardcover. A manga! Because we get asked about Vagabond a lot, yeah. and I'm shocked it took them this long to do a nice deluxe hardcover, which I assume will be about the size of the Berserk hardcovers. Yeah, probably. But yeah, finally, and it'll be nice, and people can finally stop asking, because obviously they're going to go through and do it all. So yeah. get it now and keep going, otherwise you'll miss out. Vagabond, is it like a homeless James Bond? It's just a samurai and you don't need to speak. So the next one I did was, this looked interesting, a comics international history. Oh. 1964 when you were born. 1964. <laughs> so yeah, 1964 when you were born to 2024. And yeah, it looked like a cool overview of comics Yeah, in it general. could be good. The Comics International Magazine yeah. is... I always flip through it when people order it. And it's by Dames and Hudson, so it looks yeah. like a nice production. I would never uh, buy an issue, but I would read something like that. So this one I've got just, I don't know anything about it, but I got it because it's Jeff Lemire, the Minor Arcana Volume 1. So is, it a, is this one of the ones where he does the writing and the artwork I believe it? so, let's have a look. I, I love it when he does both. Yep, it's all him. So Minor Arcana, I'm going to say yeah. it's either about someone young I think magic. it's magic, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And it is um, on Boom, so... Yep. Can I do a magic trick for you? Look, I'm going to now this my one, phone. can you, can you just not 
annoy me on my one. You always do this. Uh, next one is a uh. Cullen Bun story, the Bone Parish. So we did get the first volume a long time ago, and yeah, this is the 12 issues, and it just looked really interesting. I read this during COVID. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's like about a drug, and that literally seems to be the whole... Yeah. What? <laughs> no, you don't want me telling jokes. No, I, tell jokes I just want anymore. you to shut up and... So this next one, I haven't read again, but it looked interesting, is Animal Pound. So this one is by Tom King. Yeah. Yeah. Very so interested about it, that one. It looks, and Stephen King talks on the front. He gives it a quote, so it must be good. It must be good, actually. Yeah. So yeah, this one looks awesome. Five issues in a collection. Um, we'll definitely check it out. So Tom King the only reason I, di I didn't put it in my card, honestly, is because I'm reading uh, Animal Farm right now, the acclaimed novel, and I thought I'm a bit animaled out. Anyway, uh, Power Fantasy, we saw we that saw. one in James's Kill or Be Killed. Another, so Jeff Lemire's got a big uh, month. So hey, this hey, one is Fish down, Flies. Jeff. Fish Flies Leave hardcover. Leave some room for the other guys. And again, I think he did everything. Really? So yeah, he does so much stuff. He so does. well done, What do you Jeff. reckon this one's about? Flies that can fish? I don't know. Um, yeah, like Animal Crossing. It is. Small town crime sets off. You know what? I just want to say a point actually. Now that we both have selected based off your cart a couple of items that we know absolutely nothing about. Mm. So I think it's really important to say that sometimes a cover can well, sell a Well, not the cover, the art, the, whoever's doing well, it true. as well. Like there'll be some people that you stick to because you know it's going to yeah. be good. Like, like you Tom don't, King's going to do a good exactly. story. Yeah. You don't need to know what Jeff Lemire's doing in that no. book to know that you want to read it. So this one is just Criminal Volume 1. I put it in because they're doing new covers. So that was cool. Yeah. And you should read criminal if you haven't read ed brubaker's criminal you dumb if you Smooth like criminal. crime noir and any sort of mystery stuff yeah. this is for you i'll get behind that excellent this one chew omnibus that was cool because chew is a great series that's funny and yeah i read the whole thing and it was great and yeah. to have it in one complete book is awesome so it's literally a guy can solve crimes by biting into a person yeah yeah. So it's, it's gross. I, I read the first couple of volumes. I liked it. It gets a bit flat in the middle, but then picks up near the end. And yeah, you should read it. It's... So would you choose to read that one? Well, it was funny because the sequel was called Chew, but C-H-U. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, like Derek Chew, the artist. Or... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Superman Space Age soft oh. cover. So we have obviously reviewed this and we loved it. And this is a cheaper version. This annoys the crap out of me. So this was meant to come out about a year and a half ago, uh, and only like a month and a half ago I cancelled all the orders for it because DC cancelled the orders. Uh, and now it's coming out anyway, so apologies to anyone that I cancelled and refunded. So I'm shocked you didn't have this one in your cart. Nice House by the Sea Volume 1. I'm going to wait for the hardcover. Okay, didn't ask that, but um, <laughs> yeah, I look, I still need to read Nice House on the Lake again because I that. feel like this is my time now. I feel like that one I didn't enjoy the first of all issue, but I feel like I need to try it again. Yeah, give it a shot. Like and then it. this is the follow-up. This is one that I actually didn't like. Yeah. But I feel like I need to give it another go. Because they upgraded, they got new property, and yeah, they got a property. nice house by the sea. I don't think that's going to work lakes. I'm curious. Uh, this one doesn't have a cover, but uh, the DC Finest Suicide Squad Trial by Fire, because I love really? the old, yeah, the original Suicide Squad are great. I read the first two volumes and loved them, but then you couldn't get the rest. So. You're a surprising individual sometimes to me, Remington Felder. So I will try that one, because yeah, it's old classic Suicide Squad. Done. I've discovered that after Book Club this week that you love your 80s tough comics. Yeah, they're good art and good stories. Uh, Dark Nights of Steel or Winter, I thought, give it a go. Everyone seems to love it. I hate winter. I don't. Summer, it's baby. the best. No, Summer. hot car, would, no way. Why would you want to live in a hot car? Beaches. Uh, Batman, The Long Halloween, number one facsimile, because it's a cool cover, and yeah. you should read the original, and it's, yeah, such a nice facsimile. Yeah, it's a good one. I, I didn't put it, I've already got. I think we have an original here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Batham, Goth, Batham, <laughs> Batham. I love, I Batham. love Batham. Batman Gotham by Gaslight, the Kryptonian Age. So this is a follow-up from Gotham by Gaslight. And yep. yeah, the I read the first few issues, looked cool and definitely would read well in it. Do you feel format. like it um, captures the... Yes, big... they did a good job of following in good. the footsteps okay. of that one. Because right. yeah, that is a great I'm one. I'm a little bit... Eh Again, kind of I'm things. a bit shocked you didn't get this. Batman Dark Age. I, I missed that one. Yeah, oh, because that, one, that okay. is all red. One of our first book art. clubs. 
And isn't Loved this it. exactly like the Space Age one, but like a like a same version, but for Batman? Yeah. Like as in, yeah, they're doing Yeah, a... Red Space Age, one of our first yeah. clubs. Go watch it. I said I couldn't wait for this, and I just missed it. And another one you missed. Absolute DC New Frontier. Oh, I already got it. Ugh. The Absolute. Yeah. Got the first printing, baby. Yeah, but you should get this because it's Darwin Cook and it. his art is, we miss you, Darwin. It's top tier art. So. This is uh, so probably one of my top five DC books of all time. Set during the Silver Age of DC, kind of their version of Marvel's. Yeah. Um, flawless. Yep. Absolutely flawless. X-Men Volume 1 of the new run. Uh, yeah, I took this out of my cart because like you said, I was being a bit Marvel heavy. Uh, yeah, but, you know, should read it, check it out. I read the first I read, couple yeah, of issues, I, read the, I liked it. I read the first issue and it was okay, but, I'd, yeah, I'd give it a go yeah. in volume. Could be a future book club. Who knows? Uh, uh, what if Galactus transformed Moon Knight? Because I love Moon Knight and I'd love to see a different take on him. Yeah, okay. What yeah. if Remy loved Christmas? God, nah, that's not going to happen. Never. Uh, Ultimate Wolverine, same as James. Uh, Thunderbolts, Saga of Winter Soldier. This Can you click cool. on this? What is this? It is a comic. <laughs> yeah, so this is, I think it's like the Bucky Barnes stuff it they took. It says what it is in the description, you nitwit. Yeah. It says right there. So it says yeah, it's yeah. Winter They took stuff from Winter Soldier, but then I guess it's where the Thunderbolts are in it. So it's kind of weird. It's like they just go. Phew. I'm not a big fan of these. Like they yeah. always. They do these when the new movie comes out, like they'll do well, one Because it's for... a cash-in. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them. Yeah, but you don't have to be. They make the money, you just click. So... Hey, make the money, don't make the money make you. And the premier Daredevil that I wanted to see what it's like, just because... I just saw your cart. Yeah, so, $1,041.32, oh, so I win, and I didn't even pat it out. The true I win. loser is me, actually. I win, and... Um, you would pay a lot more, probably nearly one and a half to... I will be paying for that a yep. lot more. But yeah, that's such good savings. It's actually insulting it's, yeah, how good the is. savings are. Saving about 500 bucks would have been about one and a half grand. Yeah. So you don't, So I'm being nice. I'm actually <laughs> saving money for him and oh, what a guy. Oh my God. I better get value out of this one. Well, I win. So I win that one, number one. <laughs> so pre-orders close, I think around the 28th, the last Friday of the month. So it's um, not long. It's not long to go. Don't miss out. Pre-order those comics now. Comics at etcetradirect.com.au I mean, we're not going to complain, but it is funny watching them go, I hate paying this much for it. I hate it because people want specific covers. That's the beauty of Direct. It's not just about saving the money. It's I will never order in anything but a cover A on oh, the yeah, store. Yeah. A lot of you guys want all cover the different Bs covers. Or, yeah. This is your chance to get them and to stick it to the man. I'm the man. So, yeah, you can order whatever you want, and we don't care. So, uh, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me win and have the better card. Yeah, but no, I and had the better card. You had the yeah, bigger card. You card. didn't. You didn't. Yours was it's like not everything the size, Marvel it's what's in and there that matters. stuck in the old times, like you are old. And yeah. All right. See you next month, everyone. Enjoy. I got the giggles. <laughs> <laughs>